The former head of the West German military intelligence has revealed secret details of a 1949 U.S. German treaty. In his book, The German Card, Gerd Helmut Komosa accuses America and its allies of deliberately suppressing the nation's sovereignty. Our teacher Katerina Grotova reports from Berlin. Looking around Berlin these days, you wonder if there is anywhere else with so much freedom of expression. Twenty years after the wall fell and the most painful wounds have healed, there seems to be no more uncomfortable truths left for Germans. Yet some still manage to come up with hot potatoes. The biggest from the former head of the intelligence service in West Germany. In Gerd Helmut Kamosa's book, The German Court, he claims Germany has until now been controlled by the United States and its allies and was even viewed as a possible target. At a NATO meeting, I realized that a possible plan was for the alliance to hit the largest dam in West Germany with a nuclear bomb. If strikes had taken place, a great number of civilians would have died. The retired general details a secret pact he alleges was signed in 1949 between Germany and the U.S. and will be in force for another 90 years. Kamosa says this secret agreement means that all political parties in Germany are supervised by a special Washington-based body, that the country's army takes part in all NATO missions at first demand, and that all German gold reserves are stored in New York. For some, though, the content of the book is nothing new. Remember the proposal of Prime Minister Putin to Germany to share with Russia uh, the natural gas trading throughout the Europe. It was done a couple of years ago and German uh, leadership answered this exactly the same way as uh, German leadership answered the Soviet note of 1952, silence. But what is the reason for Germany not to participate in such a lucrative business as a natural gas trading throughout the Europe through German network? Of course, somebody had to advise them not to rush immediately. Surprisingly, it was a small publisher from Austria, not Germany, who first became interested in the script. My personal opinion, uh, it was obviously clear that the Democratic Republic of Germany was not a sovereign country, that it was really under the rule of Soviet Union. And if it comes out that also the Federal Republic of Germany was not a really sovereign country, I think it can change also the discussion about uh, the history a bit. Reviews by the first readers quickly turned into heated debates on German television. The author was bombarded with criticism for doubting democratic principles brought to the country by the West. As a result, Kamosa refused to give any more interviews and has even apologized for some uncomfortable chapters in the book. It's not every day that a chief of intelligence discloses secrets about a political regime. With some good promotion, this book could become a bestseller. But in Germany, its distribution is up against some difficulties. The country's biggest bookshop, Dusman, which is also a cultural foundation, has refused to sell the book at all. The contents of the book, though, will soon be available to millions more readers. The German card has recently been translated into Russian. The publisher expects strong sales and believes the most heated debates are yet to come. Ekaterina Grachova, RT, Berlin.